welcome, welcome everyone. This is the grand finals of the Nordic Catch Cup. I am Hypnosphera, and I will be joined by 004 in uh, just a minute. Um, and we have Better Headpad versus Paku here. This should be an incredible match. Uh, it's been a, it's been a really good tournament so far, and I'm so excited to see how this is going to turn out. Um, a little bit of a uh, freshener in your minds here for what the stakes are. So Better Headpad is coming into this through the winner's bracket, and Paku in the loser's bracket. So, Paku needs to win twice against Better Head Pat to actually win the whole thing, but that's not impossible. We should not we should not count out Paku by any means here. Um, Better Head Pat, um, yeah, it has a little bit of an easier time in that sense. Doesn't have to win as many uh, maps, but again, we'll see. Shouldn't count anyone out here. Should be a fantastic. A uh, couple of matches here. And they're getting into the rolls. <laughs> and a better head fat rolling a 2. Uh, and I guess Pocket rolled higher, which is not a surprise. That's not the hardest one to, to beat. And Pocket will pick first. Letting better head pat ban first. Referee for this grand final is gonna be Skill Issue Lol or Feu. Um, and streamer for this one is Datapata. So thank you to everyone who has been contributing to this grand final and to who's been contributing throughout the tournament itself. Uh, better have a banning Noma 3, so we're not gonna see Ouroboros. Against pa Paku, that makes sense. Might be the best player in the tournament on a map like this. Paku banning no mod 5. Getting rid of Sudopetan makes sense. Better head by getting a 3 miss on this. Uh, on the leaderboards. So it places very well. And hello, Sam. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, awesome. I was just testing my mic. I had to plug it. I had to like run to the store and get a cable like last minute to plug this mic in, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're here. They haven't started playing yet. They're still in the banning phase. Uh, so the maps that were banned so far is Noma 3 and Noma 5. And Better Head Pat will go ahead and ban Hidden 4. Ooh, so it's Better Head Pat versus Paku here. Yes. Finland, let's go! Uh, and as I mentioned before you joined, can remind, can say it again so you also know Better Head Pat came through winner's bracket, so he only needs to win once. Paku through loser's bracket, so has to win once to reset the bracket and then win again. Yes, exactly. Yes. Okay. Uh, so we see two Nomad maps and two hidden maps being banned. That means the custom song, Nomad 2, is still available. Is a custom song? Yes, Nomad 2 is a custom song. Uh, made by uh, the mapper, Skill Issue. And more uh, custom maps would be Nomad 1 and the Tiebreaker. Big hype. Oh, we're getting into uh, Hidden 2? Yes? Yes, this is Hidden 2. Hidden 2? Alright, here we go. Here we go. Uh, CS6, AR6. Oh, I love that. I love that a lot. Now, the patterns in this map are not that difficult. Um, we see both players getting early misses, but... It's just knowing when you need to dash, when you need to walk. Um, the AR with Hidden makes this very difficult, though. And we see a better head pass struggling quite a bit compared to Faku, who seems to be playing this very well. I say okay. that and he finds a miss. Apparently Paku in the lead though, with a 97 act compared to an 84 by Better Headbutt, that's quite a big margin there. Yeah, uh, here we see a, uh, a difference in uh, skill set, uh, on this specific skill set, uh, for sure. Yeah, and I don't blame uh, players struggling here, this looks like a really complicated map with Hidden. 
Yeah, reading this with hidden is uh, not a fun task. I have to try to do it for the map holding. And, uh, yeah, I, I play easier maps with hidden. Let's, let's just say that. Paku holding on to uh, almost 300 combo here now, with better head pat trailing behind, but Paku's gonna have a around 100k score difference here, which is quite a big uh, margin considering we're reaching the three quarter mark of the map. But Paku's gonna drop there, so better head pat. Oh, and better head pat is going to miss as well. Yeah, not what better head pat needs. Uh, better head pat needs to see a combo for himself and for Paku to not hold one. But yeah, they're trading, and trades will always favor the person who's ahead. That is indeed correct, and we are now three quarters of the way through the map. Players seem to just find a ton of misses here, but Paku is definitely still maintaining that lead as Better Headpad is not able to really find a consistent combo buildup. Yeah, um, the, where the map is coming to its end, and I think this point is pretty comfortably Paku. Yeah, and we're reaching the very end of the map. With that score difference here, it's quite safe to say that Paku's going to take that point, which is going to secure the first point for Paku out of this uh, Grand Finals match here with an A rank on that map. That is yeah. quite impressive, I'm not going to lie. Has to be says 700k on that is very, very impressive. Very, indeed. Um, considering that I... I, I if I remember correctly, the, the whole point of the Grand Finals pool is to be extremely hard. Uh, yes, although there are a couple maps that are maybe too easy, but then there are some maps that are very difficult, so... I see. And it looks and like, uh, Better Headpat's gonna retaliate with, uh, Nomad 1. Yeah, the Fui Custom map. Uh, custom this map, map is very difficult. 9.59 stars, it's AR-10. <laughs> I mean, that's what I would expect from a... Spooky map. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping to see a lot of tap dashes or something here. Oh, you're gonna see plenty of those. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Uh, makes sense for better have pets to pick this. It's a map that Faku yesterday struggled on, but still beat uh, Bot Burger on. Uh, better have pet knows that he should be favored on a map like this. Yeah, this is definitely uh, catering to better head pet skill set. I must say. Paco already finding uh, a few misses. Yeah, that's gonna give Better Headbat a slight advantage here in the early stages of the round. Oh, Better Headbat and Baku are both gonna find the uh, misses there at the same time. And yes, I can see <laughs> why this map is uh, scary for some. Uh, yes, I should apologize for what I said earlier. This pattern, this map only has one pattern that is tap dashes. Um, I can't play maps like this, so looking at the map, I just assumed there were more. Yeah, and we already have quite a huge act difference here um, between the two players, about 4%, and Pocket finding a miss there, better head pass going to start building an even more of a lead now. I a miss there, though, but... Something. Better have that finding a few misses there, as well as Paku, so looks like the scores are still gonna basically remain the same. It might start trickling down to Paku, but Paku's gonna find a miss there. Yeah, it's gonna put Better Hep had a little bit more in the lead. Here comes the Fuhi streams. I love this. Yeah. This is what the Nordic uh up should have. And better about finding this is ever Paku does too. Yeah, and we can see both players struggling a lot here. I could tell this is very uh stamina heavy and basically just precision timing, having to tap those dashes perfectly, or else you're gonna fall out of a uh, think and miss a bunch of notes, which is what we're seeing happen, but better headpaths gonna have a 100k difference here now. Yeah, this is, uh, like we saw on the last map, a pretty big uh, difference in that skill set. And here, better headpath just picking a map where he can do the same thing, showing a uh, supremacy on this uh, type of map. I'd also like to take a moment to appreciate that better headpath is still above 90% uh, act here. 
Yeah. That's impressive. And the map's coming to its end, and we can see a very clear, uh, clear score advantage for better headshot. Yeah, and it's quite safe to say that Better Head Pat is going to take the point here as the map comes to an end with quite a significant lead and score. That's definitely the map that would favor Paku, and that is going to tie both players now um, one to one. And as you can see, look at the miscount difference there. Wow. Yeah. Almost exactly twice as many misses. Actually, no. Yes. Yes. <laughs> And Paku's going to retaliate directly with DT4, something that I think actually would fit Paku's playstyle. I'm pretty sure this is a Val map, if I remember correctly. It is a Val map, but it's a very difficult map for DT4. Oh, yeah. <laughs> very difficult. I do think, though, that Paku has a good chance of uh, performing well on this. It seems something more up their speed, up their alley, I guess you could say. Yeah, I, 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 would, I would be tempted to agree. Um... More so a, a mapping style that fits uh, Paku, definitely. It's been around for a long time, and these patterns, these calmer patterns are not a, uh, they're not a mystery to Paku. That is to say that I know Better Head Pat is a uh, convert enjoyer as well, and probably is familiar with them as well, so curious to see uh, the outcome of this one. Oh yeah, I don't think this is a guarantee to be uh, a point for Paku, but, because uh, Better Head Pat can 100% perform well on this, but we'll see. See if we're gonna get into the map. Talk asking for free mod. It seems like Ref was AFK for a second, but should be back now. Just figuring out the command to put on free mod for the uh, players. It seems. Yeah. <laughs> I will die with honor, but please make it quick. <laughs> Talk. You might not uh, have too much faith in yourself. Here we go, starting into GT4 now. Yeah. Man, this is a good song. I agree with you. And Paku opted for a hidden here. I feel like that would make things harder, but I mean... Pop off, I guess. Yeah. And uh, better head pass going to be in the lead here as Pocket kind of drop before the uh, spinner there. Yes. Now the map is on the longer side of the AP. It's almost three minutes. So if Pocket can manage to build combo throughout the map, and better head pass doesn't, then we can see it shift the score. But right now, it's favoring better head pass. I should also mention that this looks like it's AR 10.3, if I'm looking at this correctly, if that's converted correctly. That is uh, yes. quite... not a lot of people can actually consistently read ARs that high, so I'm, I'm actually quite surprised to see this. But I guess that is a grand finals pool, so... Uh, this is not the highest AR you'll see in the DT pool. Oh um, god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scores are close, has to be said. Better have had it holding a bit of an advantage though, but... As going into the break, they're gonna see that Paka has a slight combo advantage. Yeah, we see it's only, uh, only 6,000 separating the two. Not much to separate them. Yeah, and it's also uh, crazy to mention that they're actually really close in terms of Ak as well. This is very uh, close right now. Yeah, Paco had the lead for a second, but now they're trading, and if... I think this is gonna go down to the wire. 
this is not going to be a big win for either player. Yeah, judging off this, both players seem to be almost the same in skill with at least this kind of map here. And better. Hadpet's going to find a miss, so Poppin's going to take the lead, but um, it's still so close to tell who's going to actually win right now. This is quite insane. Yeah, this is actually really, really close. And should be very interesting to see how it how it unfolds. Yeah, and we're coming to the very end of the map. Pocket just has to hold on, but they're gonna find a miss. Better head is gonna take the lead, but it's gonna go back now. Yeah, it's gonna be so close. Pocket needs to build a combo at the end here. Oh, and better head on oh, but he finds a, a miss. miss. Pocket does too. And Pocket finds another miss. It's gonna be better head pets gonna take the lead, and better head pets gonna. Win that point. Oh my gosh, that okay. was close. You're 49 really miss. Accurate. Both of them 49 miss. Exact same And the app. same accuracy, yeah. Literally the same performance. Essentially the same exact performance there. That is absolutely insane to see live on a tournament match. I swear to God, that is crazy. Um, that is what that is wow. what we want to see from a grand final. <laughs> that is what we're expecting. Also, to mention, uh, to bring up the uh, AR point er, from earlier, the highest AR in this pool is 10.53. Which is DT2. This is a remix. It's a base on the remix. We're going into. It looks. I actually can't tell what they picked. This what is. is uh, this is DT3. Okay, so another DT being picked right after DT4. I mean, makes sense. They're performing uh, pretty similarly, so maybe they uh, feel confident enough to go at it again. Yeah, and uh, considering that this is the Nordic Cup, this song is just very fitting. It's a bass hunter who made this remix is Swedish. It's a remix on an on a uh, Finnish song originally. Uh, so very very much fits the Nordic theme here. This is a very fun map. Both players hitting the cross screens there. Better head by finding an early miss. Fokker holds on. Gonna build a little bit of a, an advantage. Yeah, and better head by finds another miss. Fokker's actually building up a little bit of a lead here as we're already a quarter way of the map. Fokker's uh, able to hold on to combo. They're gonna start getting that max score soon. Yeah. Holding on to the full. Oh, never mind. Oh. I should not have said that, um, but again, they, they trade misses, as I mentioned earlier. Trades favor the person ahead, and Paku has quite a significant lead. Paku has another miss there, so it is going to start trickling the score down, but they are still taking in the lead right now. Yeah. But better head is going to need more misses from Paku. I didn't miss himself. I would like to take a moment that they are having the same act right now. Still performing very close in uh, skill-wise. It's kind of crazy to see. Yeah, it's actually pretty wild to see them being uh, this close in uh, accuracy. Napaka did find an act drop, but it's holding onto the combo, which is the most important thing after both players have missed. Yeah, three quarters of the way through the map, Paku's looking like they're having a smooth way to the finish line here, as long as they don't completely uh, start missing at the end here. They should be good, but we'll have to see. Yeah, now the end of the map isn't free by any means, so, uh... Yeah, Paku's gonna Paku find finds a miss. a miss, and better head pop holding on. Oh, but finds a miss there. And I don't know if that would have been be... enough at the end, but... Yeah, it's gonna be a point for Paku. Yeah, it's a break point. They both take break points after break point. And Paku has the pick now. Cannot go into DT. This is a remix. It's a base on the remix. I am curious what uh Paku's gonna pick.
mystery mod. So, to freshen up your memory on this, this is a tag format, by the way. Um, Parker's gonna do a roll 5. If he rolls a 1, it's gonna be no mod. If he rolls a 2, they're gonna play with easy. 3 is with hard rock, 4 with double time, and 5 with hidden. So yeah, they're gonna play with hard rock. Oh, this is hard rock. Oh god. Yeah. Not the mod I think Parker was hoping for. Probably hoping for Hidden, I would assume, or something like that. Yeah, but we'll see how it goes. This, uh, Hard Rock on this is, uh, not the most fun you'll have. But, I mean, that is the fun with Mystery Mod, is we get these amazing outcomes, so... Yeah, yeah, you never know what you're gonna get. Exactly. As someone once said, it is like a box, a box of chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> That's almost what they said. Almost what they said, okay. Oh, a little bit of tournament lag there, but... Things should sync up soon. There we go. Yeah, and if it's not... wrong... Then better have that has a slight lead. They both missed, but I don't know what it was they missed. Yeah, yeah like this it... definitely uh, looks like a challenge with hard rock. <laughs> yeah, this uh, this map is uh, it's difficult as it is, but with hard rock, it does not get much easier. Parker finding him missed it when he was building combo. Ooh, and I better, a huge stack. Yeah, better have us holding on. Aizen is there. Parker's gonna need more, but... Yeah. The jumps are hard, and the patterns are very tight on this with Hard Rock. the end of the map and it seems like better hip is gonna take another break point. Yeah I think Hard Rock is the one mod where Haku doesn't might not feel favored on this even with DT while it's fast and hard patterns to hit. I don't know might have felt more favored but better hip hat well played it's gonna take the break point. And we're going straight into Nomad 2 now. Uh, not sure, because better head pad is the one picking. I think Parker's saying, uh, don't pick Nomad 2. Uh, this is, this is where, uh, I get confused. Yeah. <laughs> Hard Rock 4. We're going from Toho map to Toho map. Probably feels confident in the Hard Rock just playing that abysmal map with Hard Rock. And, yeah, uh, abysmal is a pretty good word to, the, to describe that. <laughs> I'm sure this map will feel a lot more comfortable. Or, I would at least assume. I don't know what the, the contents of this map are, but we'll see. This map, I... I think it's easier with Hard Rock, but it's not an easy map with Hard Rock by any means. This is, okay. uh... Yeah, this has some patterns that you, uh... Yeah, I'll just let you uh, see for yourself what this map has to offer. It's, uh, not very easy. Which we don't <laughs> want maps to be at this stage. Oh, yeah. Go, 
Paku yeah. finding early misses there. Early miss for Paku, another early miss for Paku, but it doesn't matter too much this early on. No, but there were quite a few. Something to keep in mind. Paku continuing to find find misses. Yeah, and better head pat holding on to that combo quite comfortably right now as we enter a stream section of the map and wow those wiggles. Yeah. Paku has a slight combo lead, but it's gonna need more and loses that combo advantage. Yeah, now we can see almost a 100k score difference between the two players here halfway through the map. We're gonna need to see some uh, combo build up from Paku here if they want a chance to take the point here. Um, yeah. As Better Head Pat is approaching 300 combo now. Yeah, Better Head Pat's gonna have to find a miss for Paku to have a chance to come back into this map. But it doesn't seem to be happening anytime soon. As I said, this is a very good score from Better Head Pat. Finds a few misses there, but that's not going to be enough on its own. The score is trickling down though, and Paku is building up combo. If Better Head Pat finds a bunch of misses. Ah, oh, Paku mi finds a miss, but it hits the Wiggles. Wow. Ooh, and Paku looks like they based out there on that H dash, and that's gonna be a point for better head pat. Yeah, Pock is gonna gonna have to find a map to uh, get the uh, the momentum back on their side, and it has to be said, 860k on this is very impressive on better head pat. Oh yeah, indeed, and a 15 miss as well with an S rank. That is quite a nice score. I'm sure that would be pretty high up there on the Hard Rock leaderboards for that map. I'd imagine so, but. Uh, as we said, Paku yesterday also played that map and also hit those same wiggles. Now Paku's gonna go into Hidden 3. The first VTuber map of the, of the whole tournament. And I feel like Hidden is a good pick for Paku here, considering that Paku did pretty good against Better Head Pat in that first Hidden pick. Yeah. Now this is uh, a very different Hidden skill set. This is... Uh, Instead of the AR6 is 9.4. Uh, this map has a the best miss count on the map is one miss no mod by Lexi. Um, yeah, this has very funky uh, convert patterns that with hidden get even harder to read. Better have that finding a miss there, and Pock is holding on. But as you can see, these patterns are not... You don't play this comfortably with it. And... Oh yeah. But as you can see, this definitely seems like something more of Paku's alley in terms of skill sets. Probably why they saved the map for around this point. Yeah, I agree. This seems to be more of Paku's alley, but... We're getting into the key eye here. After this break. see that score difference. And here we go. Actually, this part isn't that hard. Sorry for for uh, tricking you people. Dave and these snaps are uh, not easy to hit with it, and they're not easy to read. Timing these is uh, not very easy. But Paco holding on. Does find a miss there. It's gonna slowly trickle to a better head pat now. Yeah, but better head by finding a miss himself. Oh, 
Pockets are holding an S rank. I better have by getting up to the S rank now. I'm finding a, miss, a couple misses. They're gonna see the combo advantage for better headpad. That's another miss. We've got a headpad finding a miss himself there. Yeah, this is actually surprisingly close right now. Yeah. They both hit that, and they're gonna go into the final TI. This is where things really matter because it can go either way right now. Are they both finding misses? Are we we're gonna see how they play? The if we're gonna see how they play the final uh, section here. Paku does get the point that they very much need here. Another uh, equal miscount there as well. Yeah, these these players are so close on these maps when it comes to both miscount accuracy, everything. See what better Hepa goes into. Um, Noma too. We do get to see the custom song. Is this the custom song? This is the custom song. Let's go. Took a bunch of uh, random Nordic songs and uh, created this. The referee being the custom mapper of this and the person making the song. gonna get into this map and this is a banger has to be said this is a banger if you like this kind of music and i do sounds like a mash core type music uh, yeah it's something like good. that whoever made it good job Feyu. Feyu, congratulations Feyu. you made a banger song if you're finding a couple early misses and this is a pick that makes sense for a better headpad as well. It probably feels favored on a map like this. And if I didn't mention it, this was mapped by the the artist. Obviously, uh you very uh, experienced mapper. Thank you for this. And yeah, we see better have that holding a pretty significant lead as we're getting into the halfway point. <laughs> Custom background as well, if that wasn't obvious. I love that uh, hyper dash yeah. thing for the little sound.
Yeah, I mean, better head by just holding on to this uh, with a pretty significant lead as we approach the end of the map. PP pattern, nice. And there we go. Better head pat taking that point now. Only needs three more to win, but it is still very close, and there are so many maps to see. Uh, quite curious to see if uh, Pac is able to slow that momentum down and come back or whatever, but we'll see. Yeah, we're going to see what happens if Pac can find, find a way. Pocket picking DT too. Going back to that DT now. Yeah. Yeah, AR 9.3 before DT. Interesting pick, definitely. Now there is very few people in Caps that can read this AR. This is 9.3 plus DT, so what would that be? 10.5 around? 10.53. 10.53, okay. Yeah. This is definitely going to be very hard. I'm, I don't know really how, how high of an AR these players can read. I'm assuming better head pat is comfortable with higher. I'm not actually sure about Paku, but I guess I'm... they picked it. Yeah, I'm not sure on either of these players specifically how, what their AR limit is. I mean, the fact that people can combo this far is just impressive to me. <laughs> Parker finding a miss there. Both players struggling a little bit, but Paku more so than better head pat, if you look at the accuracy difference. Yeah, huge act difference there, and a huge, uh, pretty big score difference as well, with yeah. better head pat able to build more combo than Paku. Um, that is going to mean that Paku, or uh, better head pat is going to maintain that lead. Yeah. Yeah, see Pocket continuing to find misses and better hepat does do the same but on rarer occasions. And we're approaching the end of the map and I don't think the score is gonna the score Advantage is going to shift anytime soon. Yeah, and that's going to be a point for Paku now. Um, quite a significant act difference and miscount. Um, we're approaching... I can't really tell. Is there two more boxes up there? Or is there one? Uh, two more. Two I more, think. okay. Yes. Yes, two more. And that have I cannot pick Nomon. Do we see another hard rock? Maybe DT. Hard rock three. Another banger.
I better have us saying RNG pick. Feeling like this map might go either way. And we'll get into Hard Rock 3 now. Hard Rock 3 with a 4... Ooh, it's a long map. 4 minutes. Yeah. Con Not... 4 minute convert Hard Rock. Yeah, that's like probably... I would say my uh, mortal enemy right there. I thought you would say something like that. Yeah, convert Hard Rock plus long map? No, thank you. <laughs> Good song, at least. Yes, good song, indeed. Pog of finding a miss. I better have a dust find a couple misses, and if Pocket can hold on, maybe the score lead could shift over. Oh, Pocket finds a miss there. And another one, so better have that lead is gonna grow stronger. I don't have about finding a miss on the slower section. Oh, but they trade misses after that. I can't miss again. Now, I was just about to comment that Paco was building up a slight combo advantage, but then he misses, so now they are level pegging on the uh, combo. Never mind, better have a honey and miss, but so much of this map is very easy to miss. Yeah, and we're reaching halfway through the map, better have having a 98 act. Paco following pretty close behind, actually, score difference not too big here, this can go either way. Oh yeah, this map is not decided yet by any means. Both people, both players, sorry, finding a miss on that whole jump section. Yeah, this has just been a matter of better head pipe being able to build those slightly better combos. Yeah, we're getting close to the end of the map, and better Hepat is gonna hold on to a score lead. And Paco cannot build combo. Yeah, we get to the end of the map, and better Headpad is going to take another point, putting themselves at match point. It is match point for better Headpad, ladies and gentlemen, and anything in between. It is indeed match points now. 
With who's picking now? It is Paco's pick. And we'll see the hidden pool is available, but hidden one might be a map that Pocket doesn't feel too favored on. See what Pocket decides to do here. What map decides to be picked. It is gonna be hidden one. Architecture. Beth asking if they want to play tiebreaker in case Headshot wins his map. Yo, case no mod today. So it seems that no matter what the uh, win margin is going to be for either player, we're going to see tiebreaker no matter what. Better have that being in the wrong map, it seems. Yeah, a little bit of boncho lag there. Yeah, but here we go. The wrong map. Oh, Paku. Scared right now, I don't know. <laughs> Wiggling like that. Uh, this map is uh, right here. this map is something. Yeah, we can see Paku uh, struggling to hit all those wiggles there. Better head pad definitely seeming more comfortable there with a little bit of a lead here now, and actually quite a huge act difference as well. Yeah. Well, Paku hit those uh, wiggles, so those drops combo there. Havoc is gonna find a miss, so Paku's not gonna be too far behind still, although That's a couple misses there. Building. Yeah. Yeah, at the breaker, they're gonna see the score difference. This is also a 300 BPM map, I just realized, so those are basically yes. 300 BPM wiggles. Yeah. And uh, I've been finding some misses here in the, the slower section while better headpat builds. That is going to increase the lead by quite a bit now. Yeah. As we reach the halfway point of the map at another KI section here. But better headpat does lose that combo as well as Paku, so yeah. we're going to stay similar here. Now, it's not over yet, but that uh, score advantage is quite significant for better headshot. Oh yeah, as Faye pointed out, they are technically 150 BPM wiggles because it is in a one-half snap, so essentially halving the BPM, I guess you could say. Yeah, that is a very good point. But that is still, that is still fast uh, to wiggle.
turning into a crazy streamy whatever you want to call this left right section yeah and both players seeing that score difference here now at the break uh definitely bringing up the nerves quite a bit i would assume for uh, paku yeah but even better head pot maybe he's fully nervous because he's like this could be it we have 120,000 score difference at the break yeah, we are three quarters of the way through the map. We're gonna have to see some amazing performance from Paku here. Paku's gonna want to uh, have a chance here at taking this back, but... Yeah, and if we don't find that from Paku, then we're gonna have our champion. And the map is getting even closer to the end, with that score defense still staying quite in better headpad's favor. Paku's still finding misses here. Yeah, and I don't think anything is going to be enough now. Yep, at, at this the end point, here. I think we have the answer to who will be the uh, champion of this tournament. Yeah, it seems as though... Yes, Pogger continues to find misses. Our first Nordic Cap Cup champion is going to be better headshot. Yes, indeed. That is going to be it as the map comes to an end here, and that will be the decider of this match better head pat winning that last point which declares better head pat the first winner of this first edition of the nordic catch cup yeah very well play to played you. yes you said congratulations to a uh, better head pat and very well played from pocket as well throughout the tournament now i think they were gonna play the tiebreaker as well um so hopefully we get to see that too Show off the tiebreaker custom map for this tournament. Who custom mapped it? Uh, it is a uh, collab between uh, Sekre, Fui, and the Creeper. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, yes, yeah, something pointed out in the chat. Better Hepa got more points in this match than he lost throughout the whole tournament. Only losing seven points throughout the whole thing. Oh, a little bit of technical difficulties here. <laughs> nice screen for that. <laughs> And we're going to see if we can get this sorted. There we go. This is not the right map. <laughs> Does that sound like a, a collab map song that would be between Sakura Fuhi and the Creeper? I will agree on that. Yeah. I do, um, wonder. Oh, some more technical difficulties. Oh. Seems like the map has started. Looks like there's some client issues going on with the stream, but hopefully we can resolve that real quick. Yeah, we'll see if we can... Um... It's a real shame that this is happening when the tiebreaker has been started. Indeed. Um... I'm assuming there will just have to be a little bit of a client restart, maybe a re re uh, join on the friendly client. I'm not entirely sure what's wrong, but we'll get it shorted out. Yeah, maybe. Uh, out. Yeah, maybe doing a MP abort so we actually get to see the tiebreaker. It's gonna suck for the players, but oh, here we go. 
Yeah, here we go. Things now we do see the map. Good. See if we yeah. they decide to uh, let us see the whole thing, but... Looks like there's a little bit of a stream lag, or it looks like it froze here. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but... Yeah, well, uh, we'll see. Oh. All right, we're gonna... We're gonna get to see the map be played from the start. Apologies, everyone, for this. Uh, technical difficulties tend to happen on most O2 streams, it seems, so... Uh, nothing out of the ordinary, but... we'll get. We're gonna get to see the tiebreaker. Oh yeah. Here we go. Paco finding an early miss. And another one. I thought trolling a little bit there. Now I tried to play this map myself, and I'm uh, I'm just a lowly four digit. This was impossible for me to play. <laughs> And I know I, I know I've said this a lot throughout the tournament because I, I just think a lot of music is good, but this song is such a banger. And the map is fantastic as well. Oh, this seems to be a little bit client issue again. Well, Sam, do you have any thoughts on the map so far? Assuming I this is the first say... time you're seeing it. Well, one thing that I really enjoy with Sekre's mapping style now lately is, um... It seems like he's been experimenting more with, like, higher BPM, like, breakcore stuff from what I've seen on his Twitter. And combining that with, uh, you know, Fuhi and Decreeper's, uh, mapping styles, I think, you come with, uh, or the result is a very fun and technically challenging speedy map, I guess is the best way I can describe it, and that's what I'm looking at right now. Yeah, and uh, as being said in chat, you uh, you don't know what's next. Uh, that's oh, like God. her saying. <laughs> well, it looks like Fuhi only added one slider. Well, I, I uh, digress. But well, that's only like... that's why the issues were happening. I imagine because I believe that a lot more was mapped by Fui, if I remember correctly, when we uh, presented the map pool. I'm assuming the uh, scary part is coming after this little uh, piano. Yes. It's a really good song, though, I have to say. Very Quite good song. enjoying it. <clears throat> and these wiggles, too, wow.
Oh, here we go. I have a feeling if I had to guess, Fuhi maps that part. I I'm believe sure. so. It sounds like a part that Fuhi would map, like judging off the patterns and the like rock stuff. I don't know. I'm guessing though there. Oh gosh. Okay. Wow. Oh, it looks like Secret mapped it. I don't know. <laughs> I got it wrong. I don't, you know, I, don't, I, I don't know who mapped what section yeah, exactly. So. Just playing the guessing game of uh. Oh boy. Here we go. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Tap dash in between holding left and right. Okay, that's crazy. <laughs> what a nice ending there. Fooey ending. But there we go. That is the uh, tiebreaker that unfortunately that was not played, but we got to see it at least. Yeah, that was the tiebreaker, and uh, I don't know if they were gonna play. Uh, if they were, they were probably joking about playing Noma Three as well. But if that was it, I uh, I do have a message that I want to relay from uh, the host himself, Ash Ketchum. Um. So if everyone is ready for that, um. This has been one of the most challenging projects I've done, but doing this with the community and for the community made it one of the most enjoyable and memorable experiences in my life. Thank you all for playing and thanks to everyone who helped and contributed to Nordic Cash Cup. So massive shout out to a uh, huge man, AKA Ash Ketchum for that. AKA Icelandic fucking king. Yeah, 100%. Thank you so much for, uh, uh, for hosting this, making this come true. And to the other hosts as well, Leno and Saisef, doing a lot of work behind the scenes. Um, and to everyone involved with this tournament, this has been a fantastic experience for everyone involved. Indeed, and also big shout out to the uh, custom mappers who brought some really quality maps to this tournament, which I love to see in uh, anything community-based. It's great to see everyone come together. So great job to everyone there. Yeah, and they are going to play Noma 3 uh, for everyone's viewing pleasure. But yeah, as you mentioned, the custom mappers, massive shout out to them as well. Uh, us map pullers had a rough time with uh, being a little bit understaffed and being a little bit, uh, you know, some new faces. It helps having custom mappers of this quality when that happens. Oh yeah, and that's something that I love to see more recently. I've seen a lot of uh, just like community supports, custom mappers especially, I think is something that I've seen a lot more. I mean, I've only been around the catch tournament scene for about a year now, but just seeing uh, all these crazy maps that honestly I enjoy to play, just solo play, um, just to practice or, you know, whatever. It's, it's great, you know, it uh, inspires a lot of um, things to come out of it. So that's great. Yeah, and as, uh, as someone who's been around the cash tournament scene for about as long as you have, it's really fun to see so many uh, so many people contributing to uh, to the smaller tournaments. It's uh, really fantastic to see. And again, I, I want to bring another shout out to uh, to the staff. Um, all the staff members have done a, a fantastic job to make this tournament happen and make it run as smoothly as possible. So massive shout out to all of you. Yeah, putting these things together are not easy, and the fact that, you know, I mean, most of the people here are doing it uh, on their own will, own time, own accord, for free, essentially, you know, there is the supporter, uh, but, you know, it's the fact that people, uh, you know, get together and create something so cool, and I hope to see more of it in the future, honestly. Yeah, me too, I uh, can't wait to see more iterations of this, and uh, as we said, a lot of the staff members doing tournament things for the first time, uh, at least to my knowledge, so things having gone as successfully as they have is really fantastic to see. Next iteration we go for badge, I do hope so.
Yeah, here we see they're actually quite close on this map. Better have that having about a 300,000 score lead. And they're just here to show off the map. Back this was to, the actual uh, tiebreaker. Oh, I imagine if this was it. <laughs> this, um... This was, um... In Half World Cup many years ago. It is a ZH7 map, so I can imagine it being somewhat old. Uh, yes, I don't know how old the map itself is. I think, what's it, Cat... People in chat will, uh, correct me if I'm wrong on the year, but what's it, Cat World Cup 2015? That I saw was mentioned. Yeah, we're gonna come to a close here. And yes, 2015. Thank you, huge man. Um, but yeah, that will solidify this tournament the end of the map the match and the nordic catch cup again thank you everyone who has been watching these uh, these matches happen again thank you to all the staff members making this happen for the hosts creating this to begin with uh, and the custom mappers helping out with making some great some quality memories and quality maps for this indeed and also um it's sad because you didn't get to see a huge man beatbox for the tournament, but I promise you, wouldn't. next year, next whenever this is done again, I, I'm gonna make sure that happens. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get a live a live performance from huge man. That that, that will be happening. That would have been the true highlight of this tournament, but unfortunately, we did not get to see it. I guess it wasn't as big of a an event as we could have could have hoped for, but you know, next year that's when it happens. Yes. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else we should say or if that's no. it. That's that's it. Again, thank you to everyone who's been watching and uh see you see you next time. Bye-bye.